Hello Pajakeros! Today, I'm going to show you how to add speed and tackle meter gauges on your dashcam video. We will be using an application called Dashware, a video editor that adds overlay to your video. A link on how to install Dashware is in the description. Launch Dashware on your laptop. On the file menu, click on New Project. Type in your project name and hit OK. There are default gauges and data displays set by Dashware. I'm going to go ahead and delete those default gauges and then use my custom gauge that mimics the tack and speed gauge limits of our 06 Kia Rio. You can choose a number of different data to display into your dashware, but I think one of the most useful data to display is the course map, which I have added here and put in the corner. Once you have placed the appropriate data to display, let's import the dashcam video you'd like to use. Bear in mind that you can also use smartphone, GoPro, Garmin, or any action camera video output. On the data file section, import your Torque Pro CSV file and remember to select Torque from the data profile drop down menu. We are now ready to synchronize the speed data with our video. Click on the synchronization field. Now you have two areas here called the video slider control and then the uh, sync map slider control. So this is the tricky part. You must move the video slide controls and the sync map slide controls to the point where they both coincide. Uh, this is manual part this is uh, very tricky. So you got to correctly sync the video and telemetry data. Otherwise, it would be out of sync. Use the slide controls for large frame jumps and the forward backward buttons for smaller frame jumps for precise control. That is a great tip. Once you determine the point where the video and GPS data is synchronized, click on the Sync with Video checkbox. If you are satisfied with the syncing of the video and telemetry data, you can now proceed to Create Video. Click on File, Create Video. Click on the Create Video button. Video creation will depend upon the video file size and it could take about 45 minutes in this case. And once complete, your video will look something like this. If you are into auto racing and like to document your track day race, the Torque Pro data can add tons of info into your video block. So this is just one example of it. So as always, this is your Pinoy Pajakero. Enjoy!